Welcome to part four, no, welcome to part three in my Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time series. In the last video I did, uh, well, the second world, I haven't 100%ed any of these levels yet. I've attempted them, but I've not been successful, so I will be doing replays to get the remaining gems. But I did a flashback tape level, I found a hidden gem in one of them, and then I faced Engine, which I thought was a really solid boss fight. The only thing was, you get checkpoints after damaging a little bit of health, which I thought was a bit strange, you know, usually when you die you have to restart the whole thing. But it was a tough fight though, and trying to do that in one go. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. So I'm just going to let the checkpoint thing slide for now. If it makes it incredibly easy in future levels, then that's when it will become a bit of a problem. But anyway, we're going into 1717 Salty Wharf. First level, Booty Calls. Oh, that skin looks good. I want that. I'll try my best to get all six gems, but I'm not going to be disappointed if I don't get them because trying to do all this in one go is a bit unrealistic. I love the theme of this level. I love it. It looks amazing. It feels amazing. And I've already messed something up. Yeah, there's a crate up there. I can see it. Damn it. Thank the Lord they included a restart level button in this. There it is. Checkpoint. Nice. I've got currently no deaths. There's the flashback tape. Cool. Oh no, these skate bits give me stress. Because... The chance of missing a crate. And there it is, I've missed it. Because I just didn't know. Oh, I'm dead anyway. Oh, I didn't... I wasn't paying attention. I was paying attention to the crates. I really want my pirate skin, please. Oh, there's a crate there. And I've messed it up. What? I did not have any time to react. Oh, there's some over to the side there. Wow, you can go in different directions and everything. Okay, the smashing all the crates on this I've already failed. I could barely keep up with it, let alone get all the crates. Oh, there's one there. This game is going to be tough to 100%. You can go off in different directions and everything, though. That's really cool. Oh, it's going to be a Cortex level. Or it might not be Cortex. In fact, it might be a Tauna level, actually. Because they were enemies, so Tauna might be helping out. Oh, look at this. The levels actually break off into different sections. That is what I'm talking about. That was dangerous, going backwards like this. I mean, what am I doing it for? I've already missed the... I'm just like trying to explore. I just want to like explore. I've already messed up the chance of getting all the crates, but... Wait, so what's behind me then? Where does that go? Yes, hidden gem. Oh, okay, at least even... Oh, I'm dead. Even though I've died and missed my chance of getting a box gem. Wow, I'm, I'm slipping all over the place here. At least I found the hidden gem. Oh. It's not a Wumpa Lewis playthrough if I don't die in a dumb way like that. <gasps> okay, it's the end of the level. Ooh, look at all this treasure. Will this be enough to get my last gem? No. Yes! 
just barely. Well, I got four of the gems and I found the hidden one, which I'm happy about, but I just didn't get the crates and the three deaths, which I'll do those separately. I'll do the level again twice. In the skating section, it looked like there were so many different ways that you could go. You go off to the side and it, the fact that the background is the rest of the level, it looks, it looks quite confusing sometimes. Hook, line and sinker. Yeah, this is the Torna level, isn't it? Which is, so I was right about the... Okay, now that's... Usually it's just like Crash comes through a portal, Coco comes in. But that's like a really creative way of doing it. Right, this is the first time we are playing as Torna. It's a level that we saw in the little demo preview thing. So let's see uh, how her moves work. Okay, and that's her grapple hook. So B is to do that. Ooh, little crate there. Oh wait, what? I've got to pay attention more to that. Okay, get rid of you first. Oh yeah, it just stuns enemies, that's right. It just stuns, it doesn't kill them. Well, I think, it, yeah, it kills the small ones, but not the bigger ones? I don't know. Oh yeah, this is another one of her moves. Wall jumping. Torna is the only one in- Oh, I knew that was a hazard. Good job I moved out of the way. What?! Okay. Well, I've already died three times. My excuse is that I'm getting used to Torna's new controls, alright? Damn it. It's actually not that difficult at all. Ooh. Okay, it's, it doesn't even work against every enemy. I just lost Akuaku. It doesn't work against every enemy then. So it's not too overpowered. Wait, let's just make sure. Ah, wait, we can get up here. No, we can't. Gotta test everything out. You don't want to miss any sort of box or gem. Yeah, you can get that from here. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't see that there! Nope. No, you do not. Really? Really? Brilliant. I know, we're going that way. I'll get that from here. Oh, okay. I wonder if I've missed any crates so far. As far as I know, I haven't. Okay, how am I supposed to get that? No, from here. All right. Ah. Oh. Still haven't found the hidden one. And then I guess we've got plenty of time to go. Whoa. I keep missing all these hazards. Sometimes I'm lucky enough to survive though. What's that? Right, did it. And just uh, grapple these guys away. Now we've got another cannon section. This one seems simple enough. Whoa. Goodbye guys. Oh wait, okay. Before we go over there, there's a little... Oh, I knew what to do. I knew what to do. Just didn't execute it. Okay, you can just jump straight over those guys. Nice. Alright, okay. So, now we're going to be grappling onto that post over there. I don't think I'm missing any secret areas, so I'll just go. No, 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 I am missing. No, 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 I missed a, I missed a box. 96 of 100. Okay, I missed a few anyway. Oh, that's a shame. Really, three boxes. There's Crash with Coco tied up. Yeah, and I didn't get the hidden one either. I have no idea where that was supposed to be. Well, I'll be back for you soon. Thank you so much. Wait, Tana? But you're different. You're not from our universe. It's good to see you guys. It's... Been a long time for me. 
Oh, we lost touch in your universe too, huh? Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> what did we like die or something? What? No, nope, no, but no, definitely not. So crash is dead. <clears throat> the usual, a bunch of evil scientists attempting interdimensional domination. Huh? So, uh, what you're collecting? Crystals, mm -mm. gems, masks. Ooh, fun. Well, good luck with that. <gasps> Wait, you're not coming? Sorry, I fly solo. But I'll, I'll lend a hand where I can. In fact, I already have. <laughs> First impressions of Torna's levels and Torna's controls. Torna timelines unlocked. Torna's got her own agenda. Play her timelines to see how... She crosses paths with Crash and Coco. Okay, cool. Wait, what's this? Flashback tapes. All right. A Connor's over there. Oh, okay. So we've unlocked a Torna level in this, in the Hazardous Waste. There's so much to do. You can go back and do like other levels. You can go back and 100% them. You can do flashback tape levels. There's so much to do in this, but for now, we're going to continue on forward. I've explained this a million times already, but I'm going to go through it twice. One for the base game, then I'll go through from the beginning again, collecting everything, doing every, every single thing. Next level is Jetboard Jetty. I think this is going to be one of those, well, Jetboard levels, obviously, but starting off as a normal level. Yeah, I was gonna give my first impressions on Torna's levels. I think uh, the they really pull off the adventurous side of her. She's this brave adventurer from another universe. She's the main she's the main hero in her universe. I think they really pulled that off well. That level definitely felt like an adventure with all the sh shit. That level definitely felt like an adventure with all the grappling and everything. I no, we're rest I'm at the beginning of the level. I'm restarting this. Yeah, there's the jet board thing can see it in the distance. Yeah, so it works just like how it is, how it does in, um, wait. Okay, yeah. Uh, no, I want that. I want that golden one fruit. So it works just like it. Oh, you've even got the whirlpools as well. Oh, is that it already? I guess it's just a little taster, isn't it? There's the flashback tape for this level found. Whoa! Whoa! No, I missed a crate. I missed a crate. Oh, what? What? Really? Okay, now I know what's actually going on this time. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to stay on this. Oh lord. What? Uh, chances of me making it through with no deaths? None. This is a bit tricky, isn't it? Right. Bloody hell, bloody bl fucking. Oh, wait, we're still going. We're still going. Wait, what's the other one? You know what? Screw those two boxes. They can get bloody spun. I ain't doing all that. Yeah, okay, back on the uh, jet board now. With cannons. Crash three flashbacks. Although I'm fairly confident I haven't missed a crate just yet. Careful around these these parts. Surprising I actually made it through there. Oh, okay, I can't get all the crates anyway because, yeah, find the hidden green gem in another level. So while I thought I had all the crates this time, I didn't. Not these guys again. <laughs> Uh, no thanks. Mm, just gonna squeeze by. I lost my Akraku. I'm gonna die. Am I? No. I've made it through. I've bloody made it through. Wow. 
That was lucky. Akraku, you came in clutch, buddy. Oh god, there's more of them. No, they hit the bombs. It's okay. Oh no, there's another one. There's another one. Is there a way to kill these guys or what? Oh. Bloody hell, that was close. Oh my gosh, that is tough. Hold up. No, you can't do that. Well, I swear, look, if there's two crates missing now, then I'm going to be quite bummed out. Oh no, yeah, I forgot the green gem path. Okay, we're going up against Louise. Oh, Louise is a bit of a random boss, isn't it? You've got a... This was a completely random boss fight. I'm dead. No checkpoints in this one, like in the engine fight. Okay, one of them's down. Two left. Oh, no! No! That was so close! One left, and I've still got Akraku. No. Done it. That was just a random boss fight. Louise just came out of nowhere. So I missed a bunch of boxes, but again, there's a green gem path. So I just simply couldn't have gotten them all in this level anyway. I found the flashback tape, but I didn't get the hidden gem. <laughs> Kano, old dark matter himself. A careful crash. He's heavier than... <laughs> oh, good. You're awake. Uh, All right, two masks down, two to go. Feeling a little less panicked. I, I was at a 10 before, now I'm at a solid, let's say, 9.78. Oh yeah, these bandicoots are here to help. Bandicoot. <laughs> Follow. Short and to the point. Love this guy. I'm starting to love him as well. Before they revealed him, I thought, you know, maybe he's an evil mask and that's why they haven't revealed him yet. Wow, this one, I don't know what this is, but this looks really nice. And he does give off a very evil vibe, but I'm liking him. All right, in part four, we're gonna be moving on to Tranquility Falls 1402. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you all in part four.